Hi everyone, I'm Federico Magistri. Today I want to talk about our new paper Efficient and Accurate Transformer-Based 3D Shape Completion Reconstruction of Fruits for Agricultural Robots. Now let's back up a little bit and understand why we need agricultural robots. Based on a recent forecast, the world population is set to increase and doubling uh, by 2050. This, if we pair it with labor scarcity problem that we have at the moment, um, is a huge issue for our production system. In fact, we will need to produce more biomass and we are going to have less resources to do that. Robotics uh, is one of the tools that can help us in increasing our production system. Especially robotic harvesting is one of the tools, one of the main tasks where robots can take over and help us in producing more food. One of the main issues for robots in the, in, uh, while harvesting is the problem of occlusions. As you can see in the image, where you see uh, six degree of freedom manipulators working in a vertical farm, uh, agricultural scene are typically uh, cluttered, where fruits are typically hidden behind, behind leaves, and understanding uh, their shape, uh, their position, uh, it's pretty challenging. So in this paper we focus on the on trying to address the problem of occlusion. As you can see here in the image we have three strawberries, each of them is um, only partially visible, as it's, um, each of them is basically uh, hidden behind different leaves. So what we want to achieve here in our paper is to get this partial observation and turn it into a complete 3D mesh. This 3D mesh in the future um, uh, hopefully will help in robotic harvesting tasks. So our goal here uh, is to turn a partial observation that you can see on the left into a complete 3D mesh where you can see on the right uh, represented here by this uh, three-dimensional mesh. So uh, let's look a bit at the, our approach in a nutshell. We have a convolutional backbone that takes as input a partial point cloud uh, to obtain some feature that will then merge in, uh, with a template that I will explain a bit more in details uh, later on. So once we have this template, we pass it to a um, transformer decoder that turns this template into a complete 3D mesh, as you can see there uh, on the left. Now let's start from the beginning. We have our convolutional backend, which is simply a 3D unit with sparse convolution. And the goal here is to obtain for each point in the input a feature that presents the spatial geometry of, of, of each point. Um, what you can see here on the, on the right of this image, we represent the feature um, with colors to underline the different feature that we get for each point. Now we get this feature and we combine it with, uh, into a template. Um, first of all, why we need a template? A template is a starting point for our um, network to understand what's the basic geometry uh, of each fruit. And f to us, the most simple way, the, the easiest way to represent a fruit is by um, st it's starting by with a, with a three-dimensional sphere that you can see there on, on the bottom. So what we do here is that we get the fissures for each point and then we take each vertex in our uh, sphere template, we do an interpolation from based on the Canine sphere features from each vertex to each point in the point cloud. This gives us a 3D template in form of a sphere where each vertex together with its uh, 3D coordinates um, is also uh, represented by uh, um, features. And we pass them through a uh, series of transformer um, layer that we combine in a transformer decoder. And each of these layer um, takes as input a slightly modified version of this template because the output of each transformer layer is an incremental deformation. What I mean is that instead of predicting a single deformation for, for each vertex, we deform it little by little so that by the end of this uh, transformer decoder, we obtain um, a three-dimensional mesh uh, that represents as close as possible the complete fruits, as you can see there um, on the left. So to summarize our approach, uh, combines the benefits of deep learning with the uh, benefits of template matching. Now let's look a bit uh, at the results. So we test our approach on different data set, different fruits, sweet pepper and strawberries mainly. Here you see an example of sweet peppers, mm, uh, well, sweet pepper greenhouse in Bonn where we have done some experiments. So we first run an RGBD mapping to get a nice 3D model on the, of the environment. Um, but you can still see that there are some reconstruction error, um, especially on the sweet pepper side where you can see there 
in the different zoom, uh, zoomed in view. Uh, for example, there are some holes where you can see um, that you can see on the left where the rest with pepper and some errors in the reconstruction on the uh, mixed yellow and green sweet pepper on the right. Nevertheless, our approach managed to turn this uh, partial view into a complete 3D model for each of this um, of each um, sweet pepper. And as you can see here, where we overlaid our prediction with the input. If we look closely at the, at the results here, we have on the left uh, our input, our partial input, where you see both sweet pepper and strawberries in the in the last row, and also the the ground truth on the right and our prediction in the middle. Our prediction are color-coded so that you can get a better idea of where the reconstruction error are mostly coming from. Um, you notice that the most of the reconstruction errors are coming from on the bottom and on the uh, top part of the fruits, which are the one where we have less information, because those are the ones that are typically uh, occluded in real situation. We have done some comparative analysis comparing against um, previous approaches, which are both learning-based and optimization-based. Our approach uh, yields the lowest reconstruction error, um, having roughly 1.5 millimeters of, of comfort distance, and we can obtain this prediction on an average of 0.3 seconds. So to conclude, um, our main contribution here are the combination of a template matching with deep learning in a unified framework. This framework basically allows us to iteratively deformate a template to obtain uh, a complete 3D mesh given a partial um, fruits. This approach uh, allows us to obtain more accurate shape completion results than the baselines. If you want to go deeper into our uh, approach, you can uh, read our paper or you can just expect and try it for yourself uh, scanning these two QR codes. Thank you for your attention.